my goodness. Uh, first off, again, thank you guys for letting me come and be a part of this. Um, it, it, the Tuskegee Airmen, I have to tell a little bit of a testimony. Do I have just a few minutes? Yes, you do. Well, I'm a Christian uh, chorus, and we have a Christian production company, Brighton Entertainment. Um, and way back in 2007, we were filming two gospel music videos. And we decided, hey, let's go to a local um, restaurant and just kind of chill out. It was kind of late um, and just relax. And we did. We went in there. My wife had told me two weeks prior that she has a feeling we're going to produce a documentary. And you have to understand up until this point, we, you know, we work on film, we work on music videos and stuff like that and commercials, different things. Had never produced a documentary. So I asked the guys who were with me. Um, what should we do one on? Because my wife didn't get that, uh, that information, <laughs> but just that we should do a documentary. And they said, huh. So we started talking and nothing sounded good. And I don't know if you've ever been in a place where you just don't have the creativity. And so we didn't feel like we, could, we were thinking of anything that made sense. So we said, well, you know what? We're a Christian company. Let's pray about it. And so we prayed and we said, God, uh, please give us the discernment. Please open the door. Let us know what you want us to do and get us out of the way. And it was funny, we tell people this story all over the country and we waited 13 seconds. So we thought that was seconds. plenty enough time for God to have given us what we were supposed to do and he didn't. <laughs> so we said, huh. So we started trying to figure out, okay, what would we produce a documentary on? Then the ideas got worse and so finally about 10 minutes later the food got there and we said, well, we have to pray for the food. So again, let's ask God and mean it this time I mean and just it. leave it alone. And so we pray, God, just whatever you would have us do and no kidding, I say amen. And the door opens, and you got to think it's probably midnight. And this, uh, yeah, this, uh, gosh, uh, older uh, black gentleman walks into the uh, restaurant wearing Tuskegee Airmen hat, jacket, and shirt. And I looked, and I said, "Oh my goodness, I think that's a Tuskegee Airman." And if, if, for those of you who don't know, that they were the black pilots in World War II that really broke all the racial barriers. Um, and so my partner turns around and sees, he says, "Oh wow, you don't see one of those every day." So I said, "Wow." Anyway, what should we do one on? <laughs> so we, we got to talking again, and I equate, I hate to do this, I equate God to Fred Sanford. If you remember Fred Sanford, and he's yes. like, dummy, look. And so I look over, and the guy's smiling at me, and I smile at him, and I walk over and talk to him. And that started this amazing journey um, back in 2007. Uh, right now, it's in syndication all over the country, and it, with TCT, which thank you guys very much. I think it's it's such a blessing that what you'll see on TV when they air it. Um, but yeah, it's been in theaters. It's now it's in syndication across the country. It's going to Netflix and all those different things. And it's neat that uh, Chris, uh, her son, the station manager at uh, back in Augusta, told me that this is the year of judgment, mm -hmm. and he said. So you got to trust and you got to just follow God's will to continue going with this project and do what he wants you to do with it. And we have, and it's just the doors that have opened have been amazing. Um, a friend of mine who's, they do all the alien predator Terminator movies, kind of a mentor. I never knew whether he was a Christian or not. And when he found out what happened, I told him about this restaurant story. He said, that's what I'm talking about. I said, what? He said, that's what I'm talking about. I said, what's that? He said, I get so frustrated when I hear Christians say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and they don't do anything. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, he said, God didn't give you a documentary in that restaurant, he gave you a direction, mm -hmm. but you had to get up and follow it. And I'm not trying to take any credit for it, but I think he's right, it makes a valid point that you've got to get up and you've got to do everything you can to get it out there, and that's what, here we are. And the airmen, to have the airmen, which you got to think, they're, in, they're all in their 90s, there are only five alive from the 16 we interviewed. And um, to hear their thanks, you know, when we talk to them about what's going on, how it's continuing to go, how more people getting to see it, it's amazing.